Knowing the right phrases to use when giving a diagnosis can be difficult. So in this video, I'm going to show you some phrases that you can use. Hi, I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are the world's leading medical English provider. And we're here to help you with your medical English so that you can succeed in your career in English. So what might you talk about when explaining a diagnosis to a patient? Causes, prognosis, progression, treatment, medication, and advice or recommendations. First, let's take a look at some vocabulary related to diagnoses. Active management, cure, drug therapy, palliative care, conservative management, diagnosis, palliation, prognosis. Do you know what these words mean? Match them to their definition. And here are the answers. Diagnosis, determination of the causes of a disease by assessing signs and symptoms. Prognosis is the forecast of the probable course of a disease or condition. Active management is the use of medicine, surgery and other means to cure a disease. Conservative management is treatment which aims to avoid invasive or radical therapeutic procedures. Cure is successful treatment. Palliation, the alleviation of unpleasant symptoms without being able to cure the disease or condition. So what language should you use when discussing a diagnosis with a patient? Let's take a look. For giving a new diagnosis, from what I can see, I believe you might have something called pneumonia. Based on what you've told me, it could be diabetes. It looks like you might have a urine infection. Explaining test results. I have the results of your blood test. The results have ruled out pneumonia. The results indicate high cholesterol. Explaining medication. I'm going to prescribe a medication called a statin. I'll also start you on an inhaler. Sometimes you need to give bad news. What phrases could you use? Let's take a look. I'm afraid the news is not as good as I had hoped. The endoscopy you had last week indicates that you have stomach cancer. I'm afraid it's already at an advanced stage, so the prognosis is not positive. Unfortunately, it won't be possible to treat it, but we can try to slow the cancer down. I know it's a lot to take in, and it must be a shock. Notice the use of empathy, and how the doctor says, not good and not positive, rather than bad. This is known as softening language. Do you know any other phrases to use for giving bad news? Let me know in the comments below. And congratulations on getting to the end of the video. We've got a gift for you. If you write diagnosis in the comments below, we'll send you a free handout. And if you want to know more about communicating with patients, why not check out this video, Interviewing Patients. Click here. See you in the next video. Bye. So that your patient feels reassured and can understand. No, that sounds terrible. I'm going to show you the right phrases to use depending on the context. Something like that. I'm going to show you the turn. I'm going to show you what we're going to show.